What is up everybody, Patty Schnee here again today, back at it again with another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the second single from Short Term Silence's debut album, and that single is called The Runaway. Now my friend Dave Scott, who is the, the front man of this band, came to me, he wanted me to do a review of it. Uh, if you have not checked out this band, then go check them out, I will put them in the description below. You gotta hear this song in order for you to understand what I'm saying about it. Duh. Now, as it goes, when you have a friend telling you to check out their band, um, if the song is good, great. You, you can tell them, man, I love this song, it's so awesome. But there's always that slight chance that the song is not very good. And then you have to be like, it's great. Thank God I didn't have to do that with this song, because this song is so good. Like, it surprised the heck out of me. Um, as far as instrumentals, this song is super energetic. It keeps you captivated all the way throughout. I think that's one of the biggest factors of this song is that it's energetic. It it makes you bob your head. It makes you stomp your your feet. It makes you it makes you head bang quite a bit. And I like that about this song. Um, it doesn't miss a beat. It really doesn't. And even when the parts where it slows down a little bit and quiets down, those are nice moments. Um, to let you breathe, but you're still captivated by the instrumentals. Um, and it's perfect for a lead-off single. Um, rolling through this song really reminded me of Collide era Skillet. Uh, I know Dave Scott is a huge fan of Skillet, a huge panhead, and I hope that he uh, appreciates that I compared this to Skillet um, because it does sound like um, the song My Obsession is would be quite a big inspiration for this song. This song does a good job of sounding like that, but they definitely don't rip, rip it off. They have a nice, unique melody to the opening riff, and the riff is just one of those headbangers. You know, it's just one of those, um, I'm not gonna say generic rock songs, but it's one of those things where um, it doesn't have to be overly complicated for you to enjoy it, and I definitely enjoyed it quite a bit. I think the energy of the song just pulls you through the entire way. As far as the vocals, that would probably be where my biggest critique lies of this song. I think that the power and the energy of the guitars lends itself to needing a lot more raw sounding vocals and the smoothness of the auto-tune on the vocals um, does not really do it for me. As well as I believe that this song should have had a few screams, especially towards the bridge. Uh, there's that long pause before the guitar solo, and that would have been great for just a long scream. Because uh, this song really does go crazy, and it's, it's, I'm going to use the word energetic so many times in this review, but it's energetic all the way, but then it's got kind of a breakdown, and it's got a guitar solo, and it's just, when, when he sings, I forget what the lyrics are, but he sings kind of the bridge, um, and it just goes crazy, then that's when a scream would have just been perfect. Um... So yeah, that's my biggest critique of this song is that it needs a lot more raw sounding uh, vocals and I think that the auto-tune really takes away from the emotional feeling of the vocals. But other than that, I think this song is done very well. I think the lyrics are written pretty well. Um, they're pretty simple. Uh, but this song does not necessarily need super deep lyrics and not every song does. Um, there are a few parts where the lyrics don't really work with the meter of the song. If you don't know what I mean by meter, I mean like when you're writing a poem or poetry, there's different meters to that poetry and the syllables of the lyrics need to fit into that meter um, in order to work a little bit better. Um, a few parts where that is kind of off. Um, I hope you understand what I'm saying by that. A few parts where that's kind of off on the lyrical aspect, um, but other than that, I think the th overall theme works very well. The theme about uh, you know running away from someone or something that is that is harming you, um, maybe running away from yourself. Um, and oh, one other thing I need to say is I think the intro is really cool. Um, it's got these. Uh, a sound of a person running and he's <laughs> it's got sirens in the distance and I think that's a great way to set up the mood of the entire track. Last positive I have about this track 
is the guitar solo. Now this guitar solo doesn't go on forever and it is kind of short. Um, but it's not one of those guitar solos that starts and stops and you're like, well, this song needed so much more of that, you know? It's one of those guitar solos that really just fits in nicely to the rest of the song. Um, and it, it stays its welcome just the perfect amount of time. So overall, I would have to say that if you have not checked out this song, you need to go check it out. I, I was very surprised by this song and I think the mix... The production of this song sounds very good. It's really close to professional sounding. Um, for a startup band, this song is pretty awesome. Anyways, thank you so much for checking out my review of this song, The Runaway by Short Term Silence. As always, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more content like this coming in the future. Also, go check out Dave Scott's YouTube channel. I'll have that in the description as well, even though he passed me in subscribers a few while. Uh, a few uh, months ago well, whatever I'll catch him um, <laughs> go check that out as well as well as go check out short term silences YouTube channel as well thank you so much for watching I'll catch you later peace out